Hey, I've got another Beef Free Builds Cargo Camper update for you. Here I am continuing my first experience with plumbing by installing a shower and water heater. This is a big learning experience and I made a fair number of mistakes, but nothing insurmountable. First things first, gotta get this bathroom framed. I'm dry fitting the basic wall coverings. These will eventually be covered with a finished wall covering on the outside and shower walls for the shower itself. The big mistake here was fitting the shower pan against this instead of the studs. This meant that the shower pan and the walls weren't quite flush. It's a 32 inch by 32 inch shower pan, so it's actually pretty spacious. Here I'm screwing the frame sections to the trailer. Getting these reasonably aligned was a challenge. They aren't quite perfect and that caused more work installing the shower walls later on. This wall facing the kitchen was a bit easier to get flush since the counter was on the other side. Here it is all framed in. This little hole at the top should serve as a way to get the steam out of the shower. At least that's the excuse I came up with after realizing the vent and shower location overlapped. I got the outside of the wall coverings all dry fitted and a spot for the light switch wired up. Here's the light installed. Still need to install the switch though. My brother was in town for a few days, so I recruited him to help me with the shower plumbing. This is one area where we really follow the measure twice, cut once rule. Here, I'm attaching the shower valve to a board so we can attach the fittings before we attach it to the wall. We're attaching the plumbing from the valve to the shower head. Now to attach the water supply to the valve.
here it is all plumbed up from the back. Looks like the fixtures all line up. All right, time to close up the wall. There might be an access panel at it at some point, but I'll punt on that for now. After putting in the bed, the basic shape of the camper is starting to settle in. I'm going to mount the water heater to the wall right here. The first step is drilling the vent hole. And the second step is cutting again since I skipped the measure twice step. Here I dry fit it to make sure it's going to work. Here's the super clean hole I drilled. And here's what it looks like when it's finished. Once I got the heater attached to the wall, I started plumbing it in. This plumbing works, but it's definitely not straight. I'm also going to have to brace it down later. I'm installing the propane line to the heater. This will be supplied by tanks attached to the front of the trailer. Here it is working. I still need to adjust it based on my setup, but having hot water is a huge win. Now it's time to finish this shower up, starting with drilling the drain location. I didn't have a lot of room under the trailer to drill plumbing, so I'm using a low profile drain. As usual, I'll do a quick dry fit before doing anything permanent. Screwing the shower pan to the frame may not be the ideal way to connect it, but it worked pretty well, and the screws will be covered so it shouldn't leak. I installed the trim piece to cover the area between the ceiling and the wall. Then I use some sealant and tape to cover the main seams of the shower. I added the same seal where the shower pan meets the walls. For this install, I definitely erred on the side of oversealing. Finally, I did the same thing on the wall seams.
This is the area behind the shower wall seams, so it should add an extra layer of protection there. Time to glue up the FRP wall sections, starting with the back one. And finally, the last wall piece goes up. Here's a little section just to cover the trim. Last but not least, the ceiling goes on. This was definitely the piece I had the least experience with. I'd love to hear about things I could have done differently to start with and things that I can change going forward. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more.